What's going on folks? It's K Spade the Prospect and today I am back to discuss some brand new news from NBA 2K14. I'm gonna show you one of my older video clips right quick. Have you ever said this? For a minute, I thought I possibly could have blocked it. But then I remember this was NBA 2K13. You can't block no dunk. Yo, that's not scripted. It was not set up that way. When I uploaded that video roughly a week ago, I had no idea when I got to California to play test NBA 2K14 that that issue would have been addressed. I mean, I hoped, but hell, I hope a lot. I've been hoping that crew mode would be addressed for what seems like five or six years now. I don't know. It's just so because I was optimistic about it or because I wanted it to be fixed, I didn't know that it would be fixed. So upon getting there, and first of all, let me say this before I get into this. I know a lot of people is going to be making videos about what they heard, but it was only a handful of us that actually got a chance to try it. And everybody's opinion is not going to be the same. And I promise you guys, I haven't watched anybody else's video. I don't know what anyone else is saying because honestly, no knock on them. I, I really don't care because I'm not going to let that change my opinion. So I'm giving you guys my hands-on opinion of the new blocking mechanism. I guess that's what it should be called. So upon getting the 2K studios, we're sitting there, the devs come in, and Mike Wang has a controller in his hand, and he's going through some of the new things you can do in the game. I know I got a lot of questions in my head. Everybody's got a lot of questions. And I didn't want to be the first. I, I wanted him to go through his whole presentation, and then maybe I ask some questions. But at some point, Somebody asked a question, the door got open, and then we just bombarded the guys with questions. And one question that came up early and often was defense and being able to block dunks. All right, so we was told that it had been addressed. And then me, being the nosy guy that I am, I wanted to know how, how was it addressed? Is it just gonna be some cartoony hand that just flies across and make the ball disappear? Is it gonna be very arcade-like? Is it gonna be somewhat realistic? How is it gonna work? Because I believe it's a formula when it comes to uh, a would-be dunker driving to the basket. One of three things is going to happen. Somebody's going to get dunked on. I take that back. Actually, one of four things is going to happen. Somebody's going to get dunked on. Somebody's going to get blocked. It's going to be a foul. Or it's going to be an and one. And one of those four scenarios happens 100% of the time when you got a dunker driving to the basket and you got a defensive player there. One of those four things are gonna happen, unless you know a fifth that I can't think of on the fly right now because this is on the fly. So my very first game, they broke us up in the pairs of, you know, in, into twos, of course. And my very first game I played against QJB. Now, in NBA 2K13, my sleeper team is the Milwaukee Bucks. Kind of ironic, the gameplay I'm giving you guys is some NBA 2K13 team up gameplay. And it's me, QJB, and Nike Fowler. And we are the Milwaukee Bucks. What a quinky ding, right? So I picked the Milwaukee Bucks, and Q picks the New Orleans Pelicans. So we go out, and I got one play where I'm going to the basket. It's going to be a little basic dunk. I think I had Brandon Jennings. It was going to be a basic dunk. And Anthony Davis swiped it. Like, he come from behind, and he did like a swipe. And it just flew out of my hands, and it went out of bounds. So at my initial reaction was like, whoa, that shit was tight. And then I was like, wait a minute, how did he get this block clean without fouling me? So we went into the replay and we looked at it. And it looked legit. I mean, it was legit. It looked like his hand caught the back of the ball and kind of knocked it somewhat out of the front of my hands. I was like, cool. So at some point, me and Q decided we was just going to attack the basket. And we just really wanted to see this blocking mechanism. And we wanted to see it in action. So that's what we did. And we saw a few dunks. And by a few... I mean a few, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. In NBA 2K13, all that running in the paint, dunking on people, you're not gonna see it. You're just not, you're not gonna see it. And I think it's realistic. I think it's more realistic. Some of you guys won't like that. You like being able to jump over three people and dunk. But I, you're not gonna see much of that in NBA 2K14. Sometimes we saw some fouls. And we saw fouls a pretty good amount of the time. It wasn't, to me, it didn't feel like it was too many. But it was enough for me to say, damn, like it's a, yo, we, somebody's going to the line here. And every once in a while, we saw a beautiful dunk. And I know my video is running out. I think the sexiest one I saw, I had a player about to do a, like a back scratcher. You know, he's got the two hand, it's behind his head, like a monster dunk. And one of Q's players comes up behind me 
This, this is going to be hard to describe in words, but he's got his hand out like the back of his hand facing my player. And he reaches his hand in between my player's arms and he pokes the ball out. And of course, my guy still finishes the dunk animations, two hands on the rim with no ball. But we watched it in the replay like five times. I was like, yo, that was sick. It was just crazy. It was perfect. So for those of you that's worrying about balance, I honestly feel like it's balance. Those of you worrying about being able to dunk on people, that number is going to drop. And if you're one of those people that's worried about fouls, you might have a legitimate concern because the fouls were there. So this video is short. That's my 100% honest opinion. That's all I got for this one, folks. I'm out. Peace.